Hi, and welcome to Dakota Starry Nights. In this episode, we're going to upgrade the focuser on this Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. There are a number of ways we can upgrade the focuser. One is to remove the stock focuser and purchase a feather touch focuser and uh, replace the stock focuser with the feather touch. It's a rather easy uh, undergoing. It's a matter of just undoing these screws and putting in the uh, feather touch focuser. Uh, now they're great focusers but they are uh, you know a little spendy and the other way we can do it is with a bicycle handlebar rubber grip. This works as a gear reducer because of the outside diameter of this circle is larger than that circle so when we grab a hold of the focuser from here and we make our adjustments it reduces the effect that is transferred to the smaller shaft and so that gives us a little more leeway for fine-tuning it's also a little handier or easier to grab if you have gloves on because it's a larger diameter now I had this one laying around what you want to look for is uh, one with a grip to where it has this flange on the end of it. That's going to work really well and it's also going to look really nice too because it's black and it's rubberized and so what we're going to do now is going to cut this to length from here to here to equal from here to here so that this flushes up right here. Okay so we're going to use a hacksaw to cut this, a fine tooth hacksaw. Uh, that'll give us a nice smooth cut on this rubber here. And another thing that's going to help us cut this uh, well is that I've got a little broom handle here, a piece of a broom handle. Slip that in there so I could take this and put this in a vise right here and then rotate this around uh, so that I get a nice round cut as I'm cutting along. So we'll mark that, give a nice circle here with a, uh, a magic marker and then uh, run that blade around and then rotate this around to get a nice cut and this uh, broom handle here will support the tube so it doesn't collapse on us when uh, we go to cut it. Okay so I've got the uh, dowel and the uh, handlebar grip in the uh, vise and I got the inch and a half uh, marked right there so what we're going to do now is we're just going to hold the uh, magic marker uh, in position like this and then just uh, rotate this around give us a an idea on where to cut that saw so that we get it uh, evenly cut right there and that gives us a little mark I don't know if you can see it but uh, trust me it's there and now we'll take the uh, fine tooth hacksaw and we'll cut right down the middle of that mark and this rotate it away from us so that we can see the uh, line coming up so that we can keep that centered just keep rotating it away because if we don't put it in the dowel it's going to collapse on us and we won't get an even cut see I'm hitting the wood now when I go through see? that's it there you go and that's it and now we'll just dress it up with a little bit of sandpaper get it nice and smooth okay as you can see I've uh, sanded it and dressed it up and uh, if you find, once again, if you find that the hole here is a little bit uh, larger than this one, all you need to do is put some electrician's tape or some uh, electrician friction tape, which has a little bit of sticky bite to it, uh, to bring it up to where this will snug up over it. What I like about this modification is we don't have to remove this. We're not damaging anything. We're not uh, drilling holes here or nothing like that. So that later on, if we decide that we want to go another route or whatever, then no harm, no foul, as they say. We could easily remove this and we'd be right back to uh, where we started. The other type of focuser upgrade would be a rack and pinion or a Crayford focuser put on your visual back. I have a better quick lock on this 8 inch edge, but now if you're doing uh, imaging, the rack and pinion or Crayford focuser might help with image shift uh, because once you set your focus then uh, to fine tune it you would do it uh, with your rack and pinion focuser and not uh, moving the mirror. But apparently from the feedback I've been getting for an 8 inch edge it may not be necessary because the mirror is so small that the image shift is, is negligible. Uh, 
but of course your mileage may vary. But I would recommend that you try it without uh, a rack and pinion focuser and to see if the image shift on your particular uh, scope is going to be significant enough to where you're going to want to do that. I think it becomes more of an issue with a larger scope, like if you go to a 9, 11, or a 14, especially 11 and a 14, I think the image shift is going to be significantly greater because the mirror is larger, so there's more weight to compensate for. Once again, thanks for watching Dakota Starry Nights. Uh, clear skies.